Let me forget to do that. Good evening, everyone. We are here with creative partner Linda Hansen. She is going to be doing a super cute layout tonight. You can kind of see her paper there. Linda, if you want to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Linda Hansen from Cedar Rapids. And my sidekick here is my wonderful husband, Lee. Say hi. Hey, how you doing? Perfect. We love Linda and Lee. They've been traveling a lot and they still have been getting on and doing these craftings for everyone. I know that the community loves it, so we're happy to have them. If you're joining us online tonight, say hello, drop a comment. Um, and other than that, Linda, I'm going to let you take over. All right. Thank you, Sonia. Oh, yeah. it's so good to be here with you guys again tonight. Uh, we have been traveling. I uh, don't know if you guys have seen the, the post I did with the motorhome, but we were actually in Wood County, Wisconsin, in a very remote location that uh, was so quiet. All you heard was the wind through the pines. And uh, if you guys are from Wisconsin, it was near Rome. I can't even remember. New Wisconsin Rapids is probably. The yeah. yeah. But Lee put in a solar field up there and he did the ribbon cutting today and uh, did some other meetings and stuff. So we've been busy, but now we are in Madison, actually DeForest, Wisconsin. We're going to meet up with another couple that uh, motorhome too. And uh, Lee's got to work here. And then Friday we are heading south. So say a prayer for us because we are actually going to the Carolinas. <laughs> So anyway, but tonight I want to tell you, I, I, I love it when you all request uh, something uh, that you would like to see. And I've got quite a few and I'll get to all of them. I do promise. Uh, but this one, someone requested a lake layout. So we're going to use lake or lake, lake, L-A-K-E, lake water. Lake. Lake water. So we're going to use Simple Vintage Lakeside by Simple Stories. And then I also have um, these, my base sheets, I'm actually using it from Photoplay, it has cameras on one side, but I love this teal. It matched perfectly with the papers. So uh, what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna show you here the pictures. So this is a, a trip that my daughter took. I'm gonna get the right name here. Let me grab the paper. Here we go. They uh, took their camper and they went up to Door County and uh, they went to the Schoolhouse Beach in Washington Island in Door County, Wisconsin. And she said that it is one of five in the world that has special stones. They're smooth and flat rocks. And also she said, that it was a federal offense if you take these rocks, they are protected and dogs are not allowed on the beach. So that's a little tidbit. Lee, he's kind of done some research. But um, anyway, so I'm gonna hold this up a little bit. This is our grandson, Gavin. And of course he loves Legos. So the first thing he did was start building himself a little tower. And there's little Violet, our jelly bean. She actually did a, some collection of her own. And there's Adriana, uh, don't have a front view. I have her backside, but she's beautiful. However you look at it. I don't know if you can see the water and the rocks on there. It was just- it's Clear water. Yes, it's, it's clear. clear mm -hmm. And there's little Violet picking them up. And there the girls are looking at all the rocks. There's Gavin going into the lake, get him some rocks. And there they are just playing on the outside. In fact, they weren't supposed to go in the water, but Amanda said, you know, kids, they're going to do what they want. And there's little Violet again collecting. And I love this one where she can hardly hold her loot. <laughs> so a little tab there, a little sticker. All right. So tonight we're not going to get real fancy because I want these pictures to sing. I want them to do what they do best. 
and give us pleasure and memories. You want me to tell you a little bit of who's, uh, who's on the uh, show to have fun? Yeah, hold just that thought, just a second. Oh, so if you have Aspen Court, I want you to grab all your templates from Aspen Court. I want you to grab Banners 3, and I want you to grab Cedar Trails 3A and 3B, okay? Those are, oh, and one more. It is Funky Frills. We're going to use the 1B and the 1A. That coincides or it goes works well with the aspen court okay so i'm gonna let lee talk and i'm gonna lay down here what we're gonna do this is the b side so i guess better go over here all right so there's aspen court 1b we've got aspen court 2b all right and then this is where it gets really really cute okay so i'm gonna got funky frills 1b Aspen Court 3B. I'm going to layer them on top. They work perfect together. I'm going to go. It's a dinosaur right tail. <laughs> right upside over down. top. I'm going to. No, that's the way I want it. No, a, a dinosaur tail. Oh, that's upside down. Tail. I got you. Oh, have to maybe do a dinosaur. Okay. And this is Cedar Trails 3B. And I'm going to go right over the seam. Right up there. Okay. So that's one layer. I grab these. And then the, the reason. Oh, well, I better quit talking to do this first. Okay, so there's one A, which is gonna line up right with the one B. And then we're gonna use the two A straight up like this. And then I've got same thing on the other side, Aspen Court and Funky Frills. If you guys don't have funky or fancy frills, oh, you need to get on there, so much fun. So I'm gonna go right over that seam. And line it up. Another dinosaur tail. <laughs> okay, so it's going to line up. Alligator. What? A back of an alligator. Okay. All right. And then I've got the Cedar Trails 3A. Make sure I get it the right direction. Yep, that's where it's going to go. Okay. So those are the main ones. What I wanted to do was put this behind the pictures. And I wanted a lot of movement through the middle of the page. I didn't want to draw the eyes to the outside. I just wanted it right through the middle. But then I've got banners three, and we're going to put that right over top like that. Okay. Then I will show you when we get there, we're going to be using um, the splats from Paradise and Tiny Seaside. Uh, get out your tiny plants and tiny tags. Oh, and then your breezy uh, tiny border templates. And then I'll show you what we're going to do with those later. But this is our base right now. And we're going to work on this. I want to show you the papers that I have chosen. Okay. So we have this one. And let me get it apart here. I'm going to use a green with some ferns and little mushrooms on it. I love this one. It's kind of a dark brown. Uh, and then has green leaves and butterflies. And we're gonna use this plaid. It actually has a little tiny bit of red running through there. And then- The videos just don't do the paper. No, they don't. The and then we're gonna use this one, but I'm also going to use for the banner, this here. So- And, and what kind of paper is it? This again? is from Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Lakeside. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting and Lee's going to talk. He's going to say, who's all on here? Oh my goodness, guys. Look at you guys go. Woohoo! Yeah, that's why I was saying he's had to <laughs> the paper. What'd you start with again? Can you start over? No. I'm, oh, this, I'm going to go back. But anyway, we have Cindy from Ohio. Hello. Trisha from Michigan. We have Molly Bishop from Cold Michigan, 48 right now. We were 33 this morning in central Wisconsin. Yeah, it was chilly. It was cold. I had to scrape frost off my window. <laughs> anyway, we have uh, Renee that says hi. Hello. Walensky. Uh, Christine Martelli. She's from Connecticut. Been to Connecticut before. Beautiful area. Sharon McDowell's on. Hi, Sharon. Yeah, I knew she was busy. She, she made a beautiful layout, guys. I don't know if you saw it, but she used all kinds of triangles. Oh my goodness. What kind? Equilateral? Uh oh. Equilateral. Here you go, Sharon. He's going to go off on you. You know, the different kinds of triangles we could use, but that would be interesting. 
But Darlene Timms is on from Grand Rivers, Kentucky. She's glad to be here. We're actually going to be in Cincinnati Friday night as we pass through. We're going to go down through Kentucky on 75. So Oop. that'll be oh, fun. Terry's on. on. Terry Kennel from Michigan, too. So we've got a lot of Michigan people. I Trisha said it. she loves the Simple mm. Stories paper. I need to do this again. I can and see. then, of course, we got Deborah on from my favorite area. Ooh, Louisiana. <laughs> I a little Cajun. Now I want to go rust me up some, some gumbo and jambalaya and uh, some good stuff. Go. Debbie Evelyn's on. She's from Sun Prairie. Right. Oh, next we're to the right Florida. real close. We're over at the Kiefer Campground. Actually, used to be the old KOA. Yeah, we're right here on County Road V here at I 90. But if we went through town here, we come out over on 51. They were close to the new um, a high school. Over there. I don't know if that's the DeForest or Sun Prairie. But a lot of friends in Sun Prairie. And we have Rochelle Lawn from Nebraska, originally from Wisconsin, as I remember. <laughs> Lisa Obermeyer says hello. Terry Gell says she met you at the Great Lakes Big and Me. Crop. Oh and yes! We were talking about campers and sounds fun. Yes, and yes, we yes. We were planning to be there this next May. Yes, we are coming. And we're going to stay at the campground again. That's west there a little bit off that uh, whatever river road. And I was at one of our board meetings last week, and one of our board members lives right there in Northfield. So I'll have to go by and see her. Darlene Logan's on, also from Michigan. Darlene, have yeah, Ruth Hammond that says hola. Hello. Debbie so glad you joined us. Hesmerak. Hi from Florida. Well, we're sure thinking of you. I don't know where you're at in Florida, but it Linda has good. a half sister that's just north of Tampa Bay. She said she's doing fine, but boy, I've just been watching the Weather Channel and I got one of my employees just retired and he's in. Daytona, and I think you told me they're expecting about 18 inches of rain tonight. Oh my goodness. Which is just tremendous amount of rain. We're thinking of you. Just be safe, Debbie. We got Jackie Myers on. Hello, everyone. Yes. Uh, Joni Penrod's on. Hello from Colorful, Colorado. I do guys say the leaves are really turning here in Wisconsin today. Lisa's yes. on from Oregon. And Crafty Girls Cards from Illinois. Awesome. We what grew part? Up in Illinois. Yeah, so say what part? We are from close I, to the Quad Cities. Yeah. I'm from Provincetown. Linda was from Yorktown. Close to Tampico and yeah, Hoople. Close to Tampico, Hoople, Illinois. We had one, one main Sterling. street. Yeah, you had one one street basically and a highway. Yep. <laughs> yep. Linda Card from Florida. One. Oh, I hope you're okay, girl. Not, not. Debbie's fun. on from Titusville, Pennsylvania. Tanya's on from Texas. I remember Tanya. Or Tanya, I guess would be the right way to say it. Jennifer's on from Toronto, Canada. Awesome. Laura's awesome. on from Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee makes me want to sing a little. Oh, please don't Chuck sing. Berry. No, 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 no singing. And so Sharon said they were isosceles triangles. It's good to know being an engineer and loving math, which is the language of all people <laughs> like to know about the triangles. Regina Zahn from Maryland. So. We, we, wasn't it Maryland where our friends... Judy and, and Jim were from, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, they were. Ocean, there. Oceanside? Worked. Is that where they used no, to live? Well, we went and visited there, but he was over closer. He worked uh, for DuPont, which okay. is kind of across there in Delaware. But and they're in Tennessee. Yeah, so highly, it's always great to have a fellow engineer in the mix. <laughs> you bet, Regina. I'm mechanical, <sighs> but quite frankly, I've been in the business 40 some years, so you do a little bit of everything. And you get more forgetful as you get older. I don't remember all the things. Huh? 
The ma- yeah, the math. <laughs> yeah, I got you. The I got one, girl. I got one. I can't remember one. anymore. <laughs> I was up with the grandkids trying to help them, and they're showing me how to do math. Well, that's the wrong way to do it. Well, you can't do it that way, Grandpa. So here's the answer to the problem you got. I just can't tell you how you're supposed to get there. <laughs> anyway, we have Amy on from Texas. Yeehaw! Line Love Texas. Line. Hey, cousin. Where, my where's my cousin from down in Louisiana? Where is your lovely wife? She's probably right <laughs> next to him. Uh, anyway, Ruby's on from Missouri. Hello, Ruby. Well, I, I'm so glad you guys all took your time the tonight. Car, she's near Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, so that's a big Well, I know handle. there's going to be some heavy storms and rain come up that way, but Jacksonville is always close to my heart. I just love a little bit of me, uh, some Leonard Skinner, and I like oh, a little yeah. 38 Special, and I like all those good <laughs> groups from up in that area. But He was supposed to bring his guitar along this time, this trip, but he didn't. Me play and then they would. Oh, I think they would have loved that. No, I don't think they would. Oh, I think they would. The dog, that. I know, wouldn't. And Grace is right behind us, about three yeah. feet from the panel. She's not happy. But <laughs> Debbie, who I believe was before, says she loves that plaid paper. Isn't that awesome? And it's hard to see, but there's a real fine red line next to the brown line. Yep. And hopefully it comes out better in the pictures that she'll post afterwards. Okay. So you guys know that if you work with a one way pattern, you can't do it. Well, you can, if you don't mind one being upside down, but Kiwi Lane works where you put one along the edge and then you put the other one up again. You, you, oh, sorry about that. Put it up against the edge and then you put a trace it here. Then you put that one here and you make a mark across here. So you only have two, you only have two lines. You have cut line here and then you cut there and then you have your two pieces. But if I do it like this, like it, it's supposed to be, I'm gonna have one upside down and one right side. So what I'm gonna to have to do is turn them both this direction, okay? And then I'm just gonna go this way and do it this way. And I'll pick up where I left off. <laughs> okay, honey, I'm sorry. I'm not done yet, sorry. <laughs> Says the connection is low, but hello from Utah. Yay! And Lionel Locke responded to cousin, she's on. Oh, good. Hello. So Vanessa's there. Hey, girl. Lynn Benny says hi from Florida. Again, Lynn, hopefully you're safe and we'll be thinking a lot of you. Tanya says, please go over the templates used again. Yes, I will. Okay. So I'm using the set from Aspen Court. Okay. There are three sets. And you should real quick. Aspen Court. Yes. Well, all borders have three sets. Okay. So this one is 1A. You can see it butts up against there. And then I have Aspen Court 2A, 2B. And then I've got Aspen Court 3A, 3B. They both match up. But then this is Funky Frills. Um, there, there are six templates in this one also, A's and B's and three different patterns. This one, it says on here, probably can't see it, says layers with Aspen Court 3A. This is Aspen Court 3A and it layers right over top. The funky frills and the fancy frills, they do that. They they don't all do the they same. They work in harmony with yes. their respective <laughs> numbers they, and letters. They don't do like all of the templates in the funky frills. They all aren't Aspen Court. Two of them are Aspen Court and then they'll have uh, another template that it'll work with and then another one so works with three different ones <clears throat> so i'm using aspen court funky frills and then i'm using cedar trails 3a and 3b and banners number three <coughs> excuse me <coughs> okay do you mean take over <laughs> no i got it. sure i think so <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, so. for their benefit, I hope you can. <laughs> yeah. It could go bad. Uh, well, we had we had a quick quick uh, dinner. He had leftover cold pizza, and I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And then I ate a few peanuts afterwards. So I'm a little bit dusty in the throat. 
then there should be oh i gotta put this up i lost my train Sorry, up there slide slides flip yeah well uh this one i'm i don't have to flip, do that slide, slide. <laughs> yeah. slide flip in slide yeah. <laughs> i tell you what that has never failed me yet that slide slide flip not one I time can't even remember it you have Ellie on <laughs> from Cape Charles, Virginia. We always, um, when we played in a country band, and we always would dance when break time come, you know, 15, 20 minutes of break, and nobody would be on the dance floor but us and the band anyway. And when I come up with the slide, slide, flip, it, it just immediately just took me back to those days when we used to dance. And what kind of dance did we do? Oh, we did everything from line to the Texas two-step and the, what was the other one? There was like two other ones that we did line dancing. Mostly just Texas swing when you dance. But um, it, uh, it was a lot of fun. Sometimes I miss it, but I sure don't like all the work that goes with it. This paper is really, really, really cute. Uh, in fact, right here, it says Green Lake, Wisconsin. So I thought that was kind of cool that because she went to Wisconsin. So, well, I got to know what all you guys been doing since the last time we were with you. I know you guys know we've been traveling and we'll be done the fourth week of October. And then... Line Elsa, I should get you a drink, help your throat, or some something that's some single malt variety. <laughs> Thank I you. Don't know if but single no. malt would do it or not. You might have to do a double or a triple. Two. Okay, so that one goes there. There's that math thing again. I know. You're good at that. You know that. Uh, Ruby wants to know Ruby Harris. She loves the papers. What is it called? It is Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Lakeside. Okay. And uh, they have solids that come with it too. I am going to use a couple of them uh, just for uh, matting my photos. Kim Zong says, hey, from Minnesota. So we got ourselves a Viking. Yay. Hello. Okay. So I'm going to use the green for the funky frills. And I'm going to turn over and make sure I'm doing it on a piece I don't need. Rochelle says she just ordered a Tim Holtz paper distressor. Oh, you're going to love that. Strapania. You will love that. Did you get the distress cutter or the little thing that distresses the paper? I don't know. They both stress me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But that is a thing, though, a distressor. Yes, it looks. I don't know if I have mine with me or not. It looks like a little... Uh, little button with um <laughs> with little pieces out and in between those little pieces of the razor blade so you can distress your paper dangerous to me um it can be i have cut myself with that i really have okay well i'll tell her she'll be careful <laughs> yes please be very careful she okay got the little round one yeah that's the one mine was white and red so Actually, this last weekend, Linda was supposed to have done one of those take and plays take, at the local or stay and play, stay and play, where the people come and get to use all the templates and at the local scrapbook store. But it got canceled. The owner of the store wanted Linda to go to there's a, a, a big fundraising function they had up in Central City, Iowa. There NBA for yeah, muscular dystrophy, really good cause. And so Linda went up there to crop and. Uh, just had a really good time. Met some people that she hadn't seen for a while. Back when Linda used to travel and bend her and teach classes pre-COVID. Uh, ran to some people there. So anyway, she was doing some cropping this last weekend. She left at 7 in the morning and got home about 9 o'clock that night. So. <laughs> but Gracie was not happy a bit. She, she liked to be with dad all day. Yeah, but I did get three layouts done and I posted them if you guys saw those. The one that was kind of um what was 49 in market, it was kind of a spring That's the look. Paper, right? Yeah, the paper is by 49 market. Anyway, 
I submitted that one and I submitted, um, I did it a long time ago, a mother goose with the Kiwi Lane templates and my granddaughter, Everly. And I submitted that one. So you just submitted two. To the Scrapbooker Mag, no, wait a minute, Creative Scrapbooker Magazine. So cross your fingers, say a prayer. I would love to have it. Uh, be published. Be published. That would be so much fun. Okay, so I'm using this one for Aspen Court. Maybe you could do some special event to get published of your go big group way. you're going to get together with Michigan and Novi next May. Say that again. Well, it's always nice to have <laughs> feature things. So not just of a layout, but of an event of Novi, Michigan, yeah. the mega meet. Okay, so the slide, slide, flip. We're going to do it on this one because it's really dark and the other side is a lot lighter, okay? So what you do is you put your template the way you want it on the side that you want, okay? But I can't see it. I mean, I can, but it's a little dark. So I'm gonna turn it over on the, on the lighter side. But here's what you wanna do. You wanna slide it off, slide it under, then flip your paper. And then it will be in the position that you need it on your layout. The texture and the grain up on the front side of the usable side will be just the way you had vision yep. correctly. Yep, but I'm gonna right. do it this, yes. So, yes. Okay, so this is the way I want it. Do it again, I'm gonna do it at this side. Slide it off, slide it under, and flip it over. Hmm, I wanna use this, and I wanna use this, and we'll make it work. I'll get another piece if I have to. Okay. Cassandra says hi, Linda. Hello, welcome. But um, I don't know where you guys are at, but we are starting to experience some really fall weather. It is chilly. We even got frost last night, heavy frost. And uh, it was pretty because it kind of had a mist over the, uh, what do you want to call it? That big open area where, oh, well, we, we stayed at a place where they do trap shooting and they have a great big field where they line up to do it. And it was just like a, a frost about three, four foot up and fog and stuff. It was beautiful. So well, Sandra says she missed some beginning. She wants to know where you're camping. We're actually in DeForest, Wisconsin again, outside of Madison tonight. The old KOA, but it's called Kiefer Campgrounds. Camp it's actually Madison Campground, yep. owned by Kiefer Campgrounds. Yep. Uh, but we just came from a few days being up around Wisconsin Rapids. Uh, Rochelle says it's 80 degrees there. Ooh. It's not 80 here, that's for sure. <laughs> but it is nice out. I think we're 51 or something like that. It's 54, it says on the computer, I guess. But really, really nice. But this place was in an old uh, tree farm of pine trees that oh, you're beautiful talking pines. about and they do trap shooting there but there was nobody there so it was really really quiet the only thing that was unusual Linda was out walking the dog and noticed on one of the pine trees oh. there was a bunch of like scratch marks and as she looked up the tree they went all the, the way up scratch marks. and these were big scratch marks well, I said uh, they're bare people are saying, yeah bear. there's a few bears in the area you know they don't bother people but they were Bears there, and as we're going to dinner the other night, I had a bobcat run across the front of us. I've never seen a bobcat in the wild, and uh, looked just like a kitty kitty, but I'm not <laughs> quite sure. It was well. Not a kitty kitty. And but, Linda, I'll let you yeah. take this question. We've got another question. From okay. The audience. Shoot. We have a person, Lionel Locke, wants to know, Frost, what's that? Uh, yeah, you know what Frost is. <laughs> he moved from Illinois, so don't let him fool you. He's Just rubbing it in because we're not that. there and he is. I get you. I get you. Okay. This one was the stripes. I got to find the stripes. Well, for those that might drink a cold draft beer, sometimes Frost can build up on the glass or if it's wet and you put it in the freezer and <laughs> frosty. Yeah. Or a mother oh, beer at A and W. Oh boy, we have one good. just down the road from us. A we have a Culver's right across the street. And we have yes. A and W down here at the next exit. Yes, 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 yes. And it's an old-fashioned one to drive to. You almost have to have a Volkswagen Beetle to get through there because yeah, it's so tight and small. Maneuver your way in there. Yep. 
but nothing better than a good cold glass of root beer. And I'm gonna find the stripe. Um, it's here somewhere. So what do y'all been doing? I've actually got to scrapbook a little bit. And uh, while Lee's working, always love that. What, be working? No. Oh, you scrapbooking. Yeah. Okay, so this one is not gonna matter. So I'm just going well, to you lovely work and you'll love tomorrow because I got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> More scrapbooking. Yay. Oh, and I got to do laundry. So it'll keep me busy. And walk the dog. Gracie's doing great on the leash finally. She'll be two in March. Has been a really tough time getting her to walk. And uh, I've tried every. Strange areas or there's a lot of noises. She she, gets... Oh, she will not go to the really really quickly she will not go to the bathroom at truck stops or rest areas refuses she held at one time from 6 30 in the morning till 9 30 at night she would not Which go started from watford city north dakota and ended up yeah. here at the forest or no in the dells yeah it was the dells, the dells. So, yep uh sharon mcdowell said if she was at a retreat this last weekend so that sounds like fun. Cassandra says it's been about 70 degrees and sunny for a week straight or longer here in southern Indiana, but cold at night. Ooh. Yeah, well, we're going to be passing. We're going to go down 74 from Indianapolis Friday night, heading our way down to Cincinnati to stay for the night. So we'll be kind of working our way down through that way. Mm. Yeah, I just hope that hurricane is gone through. She said I had to break down and turn on our heat this morning. It was 63 in our house. Oh, yeah. It's been a high in the 50s here and a little brisk and we got down to 33, 32, 33, 33 last night. So when we came home uh, after going out for dinner last night, there was a uh, sky that was just totally dark. I mean, it, all you saw was the stars. There was nothing else to light up. Yeah, so it was a real clear night. I mean, all the stars were out. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. It was. But Terry, can help. She's from up in Michigan, I believe. She says she does not have funky frills. What the heck? Well, they can what? always go to your link again. Oh, or go to their part. Okay, yeah. Again. So if you've already got an account, just go to your account and look up funky frills or fancy frills. And if you are they the if same you, or are there two different There's ones? fancy frills and there's funky frills. They're both are great. Uh, but if you don't have an account, if you've got a piece of paper and a pencil, my link is https colon forward slash forward slash kiwilane.com forward slash share forward slash Two four seven two zero zero forward slash, and I will post it in the comments afterwards. And you tell them what it is you do after you're all done. What do you mean? Well, she posts everything when. Oh when it's yeah, all done. Post some of you missed it. She'll post the final product after she's all done blinging it up and. What templates I use? The paper. Yeah. All the things she used. What kind of scissors? The. Okay. Glue the everything so this people can see great. it and go. From all right so now we're going to ink it off and we'll stick it down and terry says i don't have the funky frills she said but she does have fancy frills so well you have to get the funky ones next because they are so much fun all of the limited cards said you would love fancy frill and funky frills. i gotta get the bigger one this is good for tinies the little one i get this at the scrapbook store in at my local scrapbook store scrap mania in Cedar Rapids, and they have replaceable phones. And um, uh, she she will if you don't can't get them in your local scrapbook store, you can get them from her. And her number is 319-377-9999. There's nothing I don't think that 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 store doesn't have. It's, yes, yes, and. Uh, it's it's beautiful. I, I hadn't been there for a while. You guys know I was uh, been gone for a while, but I did make it home. So I thought I was going to do the stay and play. And I walked in the store and I'm like, 
holy cow i didn't think you could get any more stuff in here and she had it rearranged it'll look so good but they're hosting i don't know if you guys saw there's a what they call a shop hop or harvest the scraps in iowa and illinois the all the scrapbook stores have gotten together and you get this passport book at any one of the stores and you go around and you travel to all of them and there's specials and there's also uh, prizes, like really nice prizes from a lot of the different companies that make scrapbook and cards. And so, and I've got a couple on there too. So that I donated and it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I think it starts the 1st of October. If Stacy comes on, we'll have to ask her. Oh, by the way, I'm using um, the Distress Ink Vintage Photo from Tim Holtz. It's a brown, but if you like to use colors on your uh, papers and coordinate with it, that's fine too. Whatever your style is, the 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 brown is universal. What are you laughing? Oh, uh, Terry says you have the number of your scrapbook store memorized. Yes, I do. Yeah, I got her on speed dial. Credit card <laughs> no, I don't have that. Street, right? I don't have my credit card number. No, no, she's right. got your credit card. Oh. <laughs> no, no, Linda, Linda well, I teach slot. there. I teach at the store, you know, and, people and are then always calling and what no. So what do I have to do? Well, you sign up for the class and yeah. You know, so and then number. like um I do classes and um I also do what they call the stay and play, where you come in, uh all you bring is your scissors, your wet and dry adhesive. You can bring in different ink. I have vintage photo, but if you want something different, you can bring that in with a dauber. Um, a 12 inch cutter, if you so desire, you don't have to. If you just got scissors, that will work just fine. And then you can play with all of the templates, every one that was ever made by Kiwi Lane. I have them all. And you get to play with the templates. I have idea books and different kinds of layouts so you can uh, check counseling. them out. Free counseling. Well, what do you call it? <laughs> Advising. Okay. It is. I tell you what, Kiwi Lane is such an addiction for me. It's relaxing, and I almost, if I don't get to do it a lot, if I don't scrapbook, I mean, at least she has withdrawals. I do. The sweat. I have withdrawals. I love my Kiwi Lane because it's you can use the same templates over and over, and you can get total a different look by just using the same templates. And then I love to layer. You guys probably noticed that. I love layering the papers. Uh, I did a graphic 45 one, a Christmas one at the, the crop that I was just at. And <laughs> I left it at the store for a demo because it was just, she just fell in love with it. And, and uh, I hadn't picture, did put pictures on it yet. So I gave it to her and so it's hanging in scrap mania if you want to see it but why well, no, uh, no <laughs> did you say you're having chinese and no that does sound good but i had cold pizza tonight yeah we Linda had peanut butter and jelly we, we were went a little stretched on time so. well we went to he took out um a couple of his business associates and it was a place called pasquale's in what was the name of the town wisconsin falls no wisconsin rapids wisconsin rapids yeah or they and, call it the rapids <laughs> so um anyway uh they had this pizza and it was really good i have to admit it was good so rochelle says have you seen the new market and 49 paper and the answer is yes <laughs> yes i did i posted a layout it was one of the older fall ones i believe but yes i have used it <clears throat> I will have to um, post what I've got done. I love the 49er market. Oh, I did do, I did post the one that was blue, the Serenity. That one you'll find on my Facebook page, uh, which is Linda Hansen, or there's the Linda Lou, Linda Lou's Kiwi Lane Creative Partner, and then it's got my number, 247200. But uh, yeah, I love the 49er market. And, and Minte, I don't know if you've, you've heard of Minte, they're made in Poland, <coughs> but it's a it's a complex paper, and a lot of people have a hard time using it because it's. But Kiwi really Lane busy. <laughs> Kiwi Lane makes any paper look even better 
than what it already does. So oh, you can take a really complex paper and it's simple to make it into a oh, yeah. really complex looking layout. It is. This paper almost reminds me, it's a little more bright, bright than um, the, like the Mente or the 49 in market, but it kind of reminds me of it too. So, okay. So we've got them all inked. I'm going to go ahead and start sticking them down. Terry says, I love the Mente papers and have so many of them. Well, you have to post and let us see what you create. My goodness, they are, I tell you, I don't know who comes up and thinks with all these designs, but kudos to each and every one because I couldn't do it. I, I could, as much as I love paper, I don't think I could design it. I'll let somebody else do that for me. So let's go see Well, there's here. so many good ones that are out there and actually Kiwi Lens paper. Oh, they're making this really, really good. Their stuff. monthly kit, if you do not have the monthly kit, um, you check into it because it's okay i've done a lot of kits and i'm not cutting anybody down or putting anybody under the bus but the kiwi lane paper in their kits is amazing they've already coordinated every piece designed every piece so we don't have to do that and um it's <laughs> the quality is perfection and then you get your templates with it too or you can just get the templates if you just like templates and use your own paper you can do that but um the, the kiwi lanes it, it's just amazing it's simply amazing so i remember some of the classes linda used to when she vendored there was people would talk about well i just don't know what to do with this and i've got all this old paper so linda then had some of these old paper packs like you used to get at michael's or places for really really inexpensive not real high quality but they were just so busy some of them the patterns were so off the wall people said you can't use half those packets and linda made it a personal challenge to take those and show how they could turn them from something just good to something great yeah just by looking at it and by using the templates you can really help things stand in ways that you can enhance it well and if you guys have paper packs and you just keep them on the shelf and you bought it because you like one or two of the papers in there. My recommendation is tear it all apart. Everything, even the little uh, four by fours or the, the little cards and stuff, tear it all apart. And then start coordinating them together and put them uh, in a file somewhere or a, 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 a bag that it fits in. But Get them out of the book. Put them together in some kind of a kit because you will then use them. I guarantee it. Then all you have to do is just grab off of the shelf if you go into a crop or whatever. And just grab. Bags you were doing that. Put, and you there are 13, 13. Eight to 10 sheets in a Yeah, I got, them, like I got them from Uline. They're uh, 13 by 13. Okay, well, Debbie says Kiwi Lane paper is amazing. Yeah, see, yep, really another one. It. And of course, Terry from up in Michigan that talked to you about campers over at the <laughs> Mega Maid. She's on scrapbook.com's gallery. She has cards that she's made with Mente in her gallery. She's Terry C, the initial C on that side. Oh, okay. You, you have some cards with Mente in your gallery. Okay, I will look on it. I, I yeah oh that's awesome 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 look how easy this is going down guys I didn't pick did I, I didn't eat these I did that one but I didn't miss one whoops I'll tell you what if you've never inked before give it a try it's um it makes a difference a total difference like I could just see that this one wasn't inked just by looking but when you when you ink it, there's it just makes it pop. Just makes it pop. And you don't have to worry about your pencil marks because it covers the ink covers it all up. Okay, I did this one. However, I see there's a little bit of white showing. So I'm going to take my trimmer and trim that off. You probably won't see it, but I see it now. I don't want it there. 
Get it lined up just right. I left my Fiskars cutter at home. Why'd you do that? I knew I had this one on, and so and I guess I just use this one. Awesome. Well, Shell says I never seen Mente paper. Oh golly, gorgeous! It also comes. Um, I think you get it online, like in, some of that. Well, Stacy has Stacey. it at the store. Yeah, look if you want, look online, and then just call Stacy, tell her which one you want, and uh, she'll she'll mail it to you. But I had one that I used called Golden Days. Oh, I I I did a little bit with it, but I can't wait to use the rest of it. Well, the one layout that I posted with the octagons and the Laurel Crescent, the one I just posted on my website. That one <coughs> is made with the golden days. Um, a beautiful paper. Just Gary beautiful. said, I love the stripe paper with the leaves paper. Thank you. Yeah, it does look pretty good. I told her that it was looking pretty <laughs> crazy when she asked me for my opinion because she just picked out most of this about 30 minutes before we started. So, yeah. I, I said, Are you okay. sure? <laughs> Yes. You can make people seasick here or something <laughs> with some of this. I'm sure, babe. I'm but it sure. does look good as it's coming together. Yeah. But I think the thing, what Linda does that I, I think just amazed me is the, well, I guess you call it doodling. It's afterwards. She takes like a pen or she's just all over little pop dots or buttons or. You just really, this yeah, really works on it. So. Well, we'll use some of that. You, you, I'm surprised you call them pop dots. Usually you call them elevators. Yeah, well, they are <laughs> elevators because they elevate. From yes. an engineering perspective, they elevate. Pop yes. dots are nothing, but <laughs> elevators are. But oh, shoot. I got to make sure I hang with the crowd and see what I'm like. Anyway, Terry, she does have the whole link there for where. Uh, Sweet. Materials are. Awesome. Thank you. We will. Definitely look into that. I, I love looking at other people's work and you guys inspire me. I'm I'm not kidding. It's it's amazing what you guys come up with. And I'm like, why didn't I think of that? Um, okay, we're almost well, there. see. We have it at work all the time. How big is your team? You got to think about one plus one does equal three, you know. All right. So there we go. Well, that make you go cross side between the stripes and the plaid. No, it's not going it to make you go neat. cross side. You're not going to. Yeah, well, I trust me. You're not going to go cross side. But I should have probably pop dotted that stripe up a little bit. You guys can do that. You know, you can pop dot your borders. You got a challenge put in front of you. Yes, I do. What? Ruby Harris. Uh oh. What do you do, Ruby? What do you? What do you mean me to? You're going to do. Okay. Said, you and Lee need to come camp out in my backyard for a week. <laughs> Show me how to use all this paper and, that I have. Okay. And where's she at? Don't 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 offer it because we just might be there. <laughs> we we actually showed up at the mega meet, and uh, they didn't know we were going to do that, yeah, but we sure did. Think we were coming, but when we said we were, we're yep. Coming. In fact, we're going to go again this year. We're going to get at least one table if we need more. We're going to try to convince um, the, the people yes. from Rapids to come to Michigan. Yes. They're noted for more than just cars. Okay. Now, I don't know if you all do this, but I do. I ink my pictures. Okay. Now, you see that right there? That's a nice picture. But watch this. You see the difference? It's still a nice picture. Oh, it's still a nice picture. But isn't that cool? I don't know if you can see that or not. Are they getting it on the... Oh, you aren't there yet. But, no, I don't really pop through. Uh, well, I love inking my pictures. I mean, I do it probably 99% of the time. Uh, it just, it defines them. It separates them. And uh, whether you um, I should remember mad them or not. But, Ruby's between Archie and Drexel, Missouri. I knew she was from Missouri. I just couldn't remember. Hmm, how far is that from Kansas well, City? I'll do some looking. No, I don't think it's by Kansas City. I think it's down further. There. So what's the big metropolitan area that you're you're at? Drexel. <laughs> I don't know. I have never heard of either one of those. 
I've heard, I've heard I'm terrible. About, like, just, uh, just don't remember exactly where they are. I thought they were in US 24, but I don't know. Hmm. So any of you guys scrapbooking with me tonight? And what are you working on? I've, uh, oh. I've, got, a, I've got two new 49 markets that I'm going to be working on tomorrow. I'm out of the power industry, and she's not very far from Lacine. There's a big power plant over Lacine Lake. Okay. I think, I think Next that's question. Over on the Kansas side. Next question: Is there a campground close? There's always a campground. So <laughs> right on the Kansas border. Okay. So what part There's of the state, Kansas though? Gas station. Hmm. What's that? What part of the state? North, south, east, west. You guys, if you offer, Lee is going to figure out some way. It may not be this year because our coach goes into the shop. Here. It's just south of Kansas City. Down, you know, you go down to Belton. Down How way. far from Kansas City? Can we stay at World? You get to Kansas City. It's we got to stay in our backyard. So see, we gotta we gotta look at that. Harrisonville is what she's close to. Okay. Which is right on the new interstate, the old US seventy one. Remember okay. Peculiar when we stayed there? That yeah, I don't like that campground. Well, we can do better than that. We can get closer. Sorry if anybody knows Peculiar. <laughs> you, you know nothing. I know. <laughs> it, it was not it a good just day. A yeah, that was with the old coach or old, the first coach too. But it, it was like downhill and, and I do not walk well on uneven surfaces. But anyway. I could go get me some Jack Stacks back up in Kansas City. Or Oklahoma Joe's. Oh, that's good too. That's really good. Pictures are done. Okay, well, sort of, because I'm going to mat a few, oh, but I'm going to put them where they're supposed to go. Arches right on the road. Okay, those go up there. Don't go there. And then this one, these I'm not matting. No, so like this. Okay, I'll get back to it. Here. Yes, that would I'll be good. <laughs> oh, I tell you Pamela what. Joins, she said, I'm late, but I finally got it. You're just fine. You're not late at all. So I'm going to put this up under here. Hopefully, it's not too stuck. And Cassandra says, I'm sick. <gasps> and oh, already no. put the kids to bed so I could lay down. Bless so your heart. Just feeling better. Yes, drink lots of fluids, eat jello and applesauce. And Tanya says she's scrapbooking with you, doing a lot of it, more of a camping thing. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I have so much to do with my so camping. You keep answering your questions. Yes. Sherry sure, McDonald says I'm working on a Vicky B paper. Vicky Bootin, love me some Vicky. She's not, you know, on a lot of her paper, it's beautiful, but that sometimes I do have problems. Oh, guess what? We are out of glue. Well, now you guys get to see how to change an ATG gun. Need me to show you or teach it? No, 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 no. Well, <laughs> we wouldn't finish if you had to do it, babe. I'm telling you. No, okay. Open it up, loosen. This is the hardest part, is this little doohickey. You loosen it up, pull all this stuff off. I should have you time me, see how long it takes me to do it. And then this little piece comes up, put it over here in the trash. And then we take this one, find the end here, pull it off. There we you want go. To go clockwise or counterclockwise? I don't know. I just know which way it goes. Okay, so that goes that way. Oh, no, it goes this way. Sorry. Okay, make sure that's down. Well, you flip it up the other way, you go back the other way. Nope. nope. Okay, then we push the button, go around that one, go around that one, keep pulling till we get over to here. This wraps around. And I like to put it through the loop here. Get my fingers out of the way so you can see. Put it there. You're actually off and around. The I'm off the camera. Right oh dear. Okay. 
So there it is. And then we're just gonna turn it and make sure this is sticky and it's not sticky. So we have to go the other direction. Sometimes this one does that, this particular one. I don't know why, but it does. Okay, let's see if I go around. Is that gonna catch it? Well, usually I'm really quick at this. T15 and counting. T15. <laughs> I got to get that glue to stay there. I just got told by Lionel Lock that I should take over. You should take Oh, yeah, you should. All right, let's see if this will work now. I need to get it. There it is. Okay, Terry that should says, be. I have a layout to finish from last fall with the home sweet home Kiwi Lane. So go. that's almost a year delinquent. But <laughs> getting it done, home sweet home is awesome. I love that. Yeah. I, you know, I get you. I still got a couple of kits that I have not done. And I'm saving them for, I know what pictures I want. I just need to get. The pictures printed and i haven't done that yet okay that should do it now the little black thing goes back in here just sometimes the glue goes on the other side of the strip and i have to redo it okay this should be it let's hope we'll do a little test test and we are ready to roll yes it works okay am i still off do i need to move yeah, your right side's. My right side's off. off? Okay. I can only see about half. Okay, let's move it. All right, there we go. Put a little bit underneath. Just FYI, I got some new glue at the store. This is called Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. It's non-toxic, dries clear, and has precision tip. It actually comes with two tips and a um, another little piece that you put on to close it. This thing here, look, it just comes off. And so you can adjust, they have different size tips. This is the tiny one, I like the tiny one. But you can, you can put any tip you want on it. It comes with two, like I said. And this is, okay, you guys know I love me some art glitter glue, right? This one actually gives me a few more seconds to, uh, get it down so if, like if I um, don't like it there I can I can move it a little bit I still have a little bit of time with this but this barely art this is my new best friend I really like it and then they give you this pin to put in well that one other glue you had you put it down and it's done yeah when you put it down that art glitter you better have it where you want it because it ain't going nowhere else so so I get me a drink okay now I'm going to take some of the solids I've got that dark kind of a chocolate green black color and I've got a blue, okay? This is also from the Simple Vintage Lakeside. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mat some of these pictures, okay? I know that I wanna mat one of these. I'm gonna mat this one, this one, and this one. So <clears throat> this one is gonna be blue. So. Now there's two ways you can do this, okay? These are three by fours, this is a four by five, and this is a four by six, four by six, four by six, and four by fours. I should probably do it the right way. So I cut them out with the templates. We have photo templates, and we also have mini photos, and we have photo mats, okay? So I need to find, there's the four and a half by five and a half for that one. And there's a four and a half by six and a half for those two. Trisha says, I have used that glue. I also like art glitter glue. No actual glitter one? in it. Yeah, uh, it, but it dries quick. Okay, so the mats make a perfect, perfect edge around them. So I'm gonna do it the correct way. Okay, so that one's blue and that one's blue. So I just need two. This takes the, the measuring guesswork out of it. I love the photo mats because 
sometimes when I'm scrapbooking, it's for relaxation and I do not want to think about what I got to do. I just want to scrapbook. You don't want to take like the one eight, the point one two five. Yeah, that's right about it. So this is a three by four and this is four and a half by six. And, oh, I'm sorry, three and, a, three and a half by four and a half. And this is four and a half by six and a half. So this will work here. And I'm just going to go here. Okay. It was three on one side and four on the other. What would the hypotenuse of the triangle be on the right? I have no idea. Okay, so the brass on the other side, I need two of these. So I'm going to go ahead and do another four and a half by six and a half right here. If you don't have the photos and the photo mats and the mini photos, you're missing out. They're wonderful. Okay, and well, then I need a four and a half question when you get five, five and a half. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. Look at that. Okay, what's the question? Well, Shell wants to know what container do you use yes. for your photos? For my photos? Okay. Uh, like to storm in. I have at home the Creative Memories. Um, what do they call it? It's, it's, it's the one where it's like you're supposed to do it fast, sort of fast. I have those at home. When I'm on the road like this, I take my, um, I have a, a picture mate uh, printer and I just print off the ones that I know I'm going to use or that I need to use. So um, she can pull them off her phone or if she has. A, right. Or off my computer. On the computer and just pick the ones you want to yep. keep them electronic. Yep. But yeah, you do have the creative memory storage and you They're used to have those other boxes. power sorter. Power, yeah, I used to be old the regular photo boxes you get like from Michaels and stuff. But I had so many of them and I'm like, I'm never going to get these done. But I mean, it's the same amount, but it's just kind of like you see the, the big box. Says power sort. Yep, that's it. That'd be it. So that's what I use. And Terry says, man, you're fast. You're almost done. Yeah. Almost. I, Kiwi Lane is so simple, guys. It's so, so simple. And uh, I've done this once or twice. <laughs> Just once or twice. Okay. Now we're going to math the rest we're, of them. Oh, we're not done. We still... I'm pretty simple, too. I'm simple minded. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I know we need that there. And I know this one's going to be brown, and that one's blue. And that one's brown. Okay, get my inker back out. We'll ink and stick. And then all we have to do is a little bit of design work of some accessories and tiny accessories. So we'll show you what we're gonna do with that. I thought about just leaving it like, like this with the photo mats and then just call it quits, but it was just missing something. So we're actually going to do some fussy cutty. Oh, I hate saying that, but we're going to do it. Okay, that one goes there. Is that how I cut? I don't know how you, you haven't put scissors in your hand for a long time. He used to help me cut stuff out, yeah, but he just says it's hard to, stuff. It's not hard. None of it's, it's hard. <laughs> He's got big hands. So. <laughs> like the little daisy things. You have to yeah. bend one forward and one back and one forward and one back. <laughs> But you have done it and you enjoyed it. Yeah. His big thing for me, I need him to journal. Um, I need to have him help me get it down. Usually, you remember where it was, yeah, what it was about. Sometimes who it, the pictures are, because I don't, like when we were in, in the band or in ministry, we'd have pictures just like, uh, I don't remember that. It's, oh, yes, you do. This one would do this and that one did, you know. So he's a good encyclopedia history book is good for me we work good together we really do sometimes we get on each other's nerves but that's only for about 10 seconds and then we're okay again. it's gotten tough i lost most of my hair so you can't really pull it much more <laughs> you, know, you can make your hair fall off you can't have hair and brains both that's what she always used to say <laughs> right that's correct um, Okay, we're going to stick these on, get them down. Whoops, let me do that. So, so do you guys use ATG, ATG gun or do you guys use something else for your adhesive? 
I used to use, <coughs> I have a lot of creative memory, those little tabs. Do you guys remember those? I cut them in half. That's when I first started scrapbooking. And um, that's what I they used work. a lot. They work. They still, I still have a few boxes and I've not tried their new runner. I know a lot of people said the creative me memories runner is really good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that was close. Okay. Is that the right side? Yes. In fact, you were talking about uh, what I do for pictures. I got to go to town tomorrow and get some um, more ink. Rochelle says the ATG gun. Yes. Sharon says tag is small tape runner. Ah. I have used the Gina K one. I like it too, but it's expensive for a lot of the scrapbooking. When I do cards, it's it's pretty good for cards. So I'm Carly says just got one, but just haven't used it much yet. Oh, get it going! It's not that hard uh, to control. It really isn't. But sometimes when you over glue, <laughs> it is. There we go. Joni says, I love the Creative Memories Tape Runner. I'm going to have to try that. I, I haven't had a Creative Memories person to go to is the problem. My daughter-in-law used to sell it, but she started having kids and scrapbooking kind of went out the window for her. And that's fine. So I'm doing all the scrapbooking in the family. My daughter's working and um, what if I should double map that? Let's get them all down and see what you guys think. I'm, so I don't know. Says, I switched mostly double-sided tape because I position exactly and yes. hold the corner down while I peel off the tape in the back. Yep. Carefully and drop it in place. I relate to that. Because this, you don't got much time and it's down. It's not going anywhere. Scrap Mania Zone said ATG Gun is the best. 100,000. <laughs> hey, Stacy. Um, what was the question we had for her earlier? Do you guys remember what it was? Yeah. How do we get our 401ks to come back? <laughs> no, it wasn't it. It. What was it we were going to, we were trying to find out. And I said, well, maybe Stacy will come back on and she'll tell us. Um, Shoot. Oh, what what are the dates of the the harvest, the scraps, the shop hop? What are the dates of that? Where they can go to the different stores and check them out. I don't even know the name of all of them that the stores are participating, but there's five in Illinois and five in Iowa. Ruby here says Credit Memories Tape is my favorite. Awesome. Okay. Sharon's ATG. Now, before I do this Lisa one, Lisa likes the Zyron ATG. Is it pronounced right? X Y R O N. Zyron. Zyron. Okay. Zyron. That's what I thought it was. Yep. Okay. So we've got this. I'm thinking I might uh, double mat this with one brown and one blue. I don't know. You tell me what y'all think. But it's nice like this. But let's just fancy it up a little bit. Okay. So. We have the tiny border breezy, right? I'm gonna put it right here, but I'm gonna use the same paper, find the plaid, this one, for this little squiggle thing. It's on the back, okay, we're good. All right, oh, I only need that much. I love my tiny borders. They're not just for cards. You can use them on your layout. And you can actually use these, um, like this one. I use this fun border, uh, the Cedar Trails, right? That's what I did. Yes, Cedar Trails. But you could use this one instead. It's six inches, so you just have to double it. But these tiny borders are so versatile. We have a question for Pamela Rouse. She right. says, does Scrap Mania sell Kiwi Lane? And the answer is no. no. The, Linda does Kiwi Lane, and she gets a lot of products from Scrap Mania. Yes. Because Scrap Mania has a lot to pick from. And they get it, 
they have it and their prices yeah. are real reasonable. And if she doesn't have it, she can get it really easy. Um, Kiwi Lane is not sold in stores, okay? You can only get it from a creative partner or on the Kiwi Lane website. Now, some creative partners carry inventory and some do not. I used to carry inventory, but I turned all of mine into class templates, the inventory that I had when COVID hit. However, with that said, if there's something you're looking for and you can't, if I have more than a couple of sets of it, I will sell the class templates too, if I have enough. Um, but normally, um, you just get it from a creative partner like me or you get it online. So there we go. Okay, so I've got that. I'm gonna ink it. You had a question earlier about how to do it. Ruby says double face the picture. Dad, okay, perfect. And Deb also says double mat the picture. So. Yep, perfect. That's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Um, so where was I going to say? <laughs> I talked about the templates. Um, I know that they've retired a lot of them, and there is just a limited amount that's left. I mean, it's less than half of what they started with. So if there's anything that you know you don't have and you want for sure, in the last chance, make sure you pop over there and get it, okay? Pamela um, says, you are my creative partner and my hero. Aw, you're no, so she's sweet. Talking, wait, she's talking to me, it says, you are my creative <laughs> partner. Oh, I'm you sure she's referencing funny. <laughs> You are so funny. Okay, so in this collection, they also make, oh, get a hold of it here, the six by eight paper pads, okay? If I have a lot of pictures that I am going to uh, make more than one layout of, I grab one of these because there's the print is smaller, so you can use it for um, your uh, tiny accessories if you want. Or you can use it for the, the the layered ones too, like the tiny borders. However, when you use this, the the when you when you're done using this you can turn these into cards too which i dearly love to see that okay make sure i find it i know which one we picked but i'm not seeing it and i keep going it's got to be in here somewhere there it is that's the one we picked for a splat and some of the prints are not the same as the big bag so, which is kind of nice, you get a little variety. All right, so we're gonna make, this is from Paradise. This is number five. It's a big splat, water splat. It's good for pool pictures. It's good for lake pictures, anything with water or, or like say if you're doing a- um, Amoebas. Amoeba, if you're doing science, that's fine. But no, what's the paintball? If you're doing a paintball page or whatever, these splats are perfect because you can do it whole on your page or you can slide it up underneath a picture. Um, they're just, it's a wonderful template, the little splats. Okay, so we got that one. And then I've got a little tiny one. This is in Seaside, tiny Seaside is 4T, but it's just like the big one, only a little bit. And I'm gonna need two of these. Well, one, because I need to do something else on that one. What was on the back side? Oh, okay. I'll do one and then I'll decide what I want to do with the other one. Okay. So what time we got, Daddy? How are we doing? 10 o'clock. Uh oh, I turned uh, into 8, a 16. pumpkin. 8 16. 8 16. We're doing good. We're almost there. But so did you guys get all your summer pictures all scrapbooked and Mary Ready to start, Paul? Beeston says, this is my first time doing this. Awesome. Is there a volume or just read the screen? Is there a volume? No, you should be able, whatever device you're using, your phone or your uh, computer, just turn up the volume. You should be able to hear it. 
Hopefully everybody else can hear us talk. You all got you all got the volume, right? You can well yeah, because they're answering questions. So they should have it. Okay, so I'm using Tim Holt scissors. If you guys want to know what scissors I'm using, these are the medium ones. He I'm gonna use the other ones here. I'm gonna add tiny ones. Why else have you got all his done? <laughs> oh guys, I love him. Okay, so these are the tiny Tim Holtz. And the way you want to hold them is the words towards you and these little grooves that you see on scissors down. Now, if they're the haberdashery ones, I, I, I don't know. I don't use those, so I'm not sure what the correct way is. But if it has grooves, the grooves go down. Otherwise, your paper will have little indents on the top or whatever side you're cutting, it'll have a little indent. It's okay if you want it to be like that because sometimes i have like when i'm doing foil it's nice to have it on top thanks for the answer terry what was it well well, well what was that no question? she just saying to click on the volume button and pull the volume okay button. perfect perfect yeah scrap mania says we can hear awesome so what's the dates of the shop hop the harvest the scraps they didn't can you type it in there um so if you got a, a girlfriend or two grab them and head to iowa and illinois it's a scrapbook or card makers dream in these stores so scrap mania is the biggest one she's got almost fourteen thousand square feet and she uses every inch of it. It's not cluttered. It's just got a lot of stuff. Somebody just had made the comment that I seen it go away about that. Maybe she was asking about the comments. Yeah, the comments are just typed and I'm just reading. Yeah, we don't hear you guys. We just just uh, can read your comments. But we might do some someday yeah. where we do our own and we do some interactive ones where you can talk. I have a YouTube. Tackle us and hassle us and do everything. <laughs> I have a YouTube account and, and got it all set up. I just haven't done it. I'm scared of it. That's Jordy says amazing. she wished she was closer to Colorado to harvest the scrap. She'd love to do it. We have an airport. You can come and fly in. And then Stacy has a retreat house. I don't know if it's booked during that time or not, but... You need a place to the stay. Shop She's got one. On October first through fifteenth. Okay, there we Look go. Up harvest the scraps. Harvest the scraps is on Facebook. Okay, perfect. Okay, now harvest the scraps. Well, that's what I have for dinner tonight. Harvest <laughs> the scraps. Away from the, yeah. The pizza last night. I eat it cold. That way the grease stays coagulated. Yeah. Yuck, yuck, yuck. The Italian sausage and the cheese and. I had black olives and pineapple was the one I liked. Okay, so when you're cutting, I don't know if you guys notice, I'm not moving the scissors very much. I turn the paper. So if you have trouble cutting, this is how you do it, just like they taught you in kindergarten. Rochelle, and that's unfortunate. You know, she's out there in Nebraska. Yeah. Said, did you hear that busy scrapping is closing here in Omaha? I know. I heard. Oh, and we yeah, never. Heard yep. I guess I missed yep. that. It must have been work. There, there was like three or four of them that closed within the last couple of months or are closing. And it's sad. If you guys have a scrapbook store near you, please, please, please visit it and make a purchase. It doesn't have to be a large purchase, but keep them in, keep them in Business. business because without them you're going to be shopping at hobby lobby and michael's if you have those all the time or walmart if they have some i mean you can shop online too but i'd rather go to the store and not pay the postage so okay so we got that strap mania says you said uh, there's cheap flights from colorado to cedar rapids on frontier so there you go all right now i gotta find the sheet. Scrap Manny also said someone might be buying them in Omaha. Oh, they do. Let's hope they keep them going. And I've yes. heard of that store, but I don't think we've ever been to that. Yet. No, we were supposed to go to the one in Lincoln, but we never made it close before we got there. 
Okay, so I have tiny tags 5 so teeth. Like no, no, it was just closed. Uh, on the back of the butterfly one, there's these nice little three by four cards. And this is a smaller version of this design. So I'm going to take it. So I have this paper on the other side. I'm going to lay my template right over top. Isn't that cool how you can see that? And position it where I want. Take my. She's retiring the person. Oh. Well, that's something for you to do, Rochelle. You can take that over. There you go. That'll work. All in favor, aye. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Get a hold of it here. I take my scissors and cut it out. These cut aparts are so nice. One says, leave the road, take the trails. Best ever. Big fish story. Get out and explore your world. Lake Creek River. Uh, explore more. Lake days are the best days and explore your world a lot. And the key feeling templates, you can see right through them. So you can position it wherever you want on this. This works wonderful. I had the shakes all of a sudden. Well, Cheryl says she would, but she's busy full time as a nurse. Oh, which is doing the right thing. Yeah. Appreciate all your service and hard work. Yes, it takes a special person to be a nurse. Yes, it does. Okay, now I'm going to take a medium hole punch. Terry wants to know is that tags or tiny tags? Tiny tags, tiny tags. Okay, so I'm going to eyeball the center where I want it. Okay, can you guys see that hole? It's not a big one, it's not a tiny one, it's a middle one, okay? And then I've got some twine. And I think I'll use the brown. Twine or string, now that's twine. twine. No, that's all twine. And I'm gonna piece, put a piece of twine through it. It was really hard, guys. You know how much I love my burlap. It was really, really hard. She to not use my burlap. I'm still. But I still may use it because I got a couple other little things that, like, oh, I could use burlap there. That would be cute. So we'll see if it works. All right. So I fold it in half, and the loop part I'm going to put right in the hole, which is the center of the piece. Of and one. pull it through. And then I take these two loose ends, put it right through the loop. And give it a pull. And there, my tag is done. Now, I'll probably uh, do something with this loose. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We're going to ink it. Oops. You're slipping. I'm slipping. Got to ink it. Well, when you lay it down and you see it's like, what's wrong with it? Oh, it needs some ink. That's why. Scrap Mani made a comment and, and uh, she said, uh, I just talked to her today, the lady in Omaha because I was going to buy some racks from her, but now she's on hold because she might have a buyer for the store, which is great. Awesome. Stacy also said burlap always looks great. <laughs> yes, it does. it does. look pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to use... Olive oil anyway. Did we decide we were going to do this? Gonna One do of the slats colors. with this. Yeah, we're going to do it with this. Okay, then I'm going to go back to my little book. Well, we had our consultation pre yeah. thing we talked about colors. I always lay it out and I ask him, like today I sent a picture. So what do you think? Is this going to work? Yeah. And no, let me yeah, wait till I, I get home it. and I'll look. I love the pictures. So see, he said the pictures. He didn't say anything about the design. Well, there was no real pictures. It was the design, but I know you hadn't blinged it out yet. Well, <laughs> no. I just got to find that paper. There it is. The paper all over here. <laughs> Which one? You want? This is the one I want. Okay. This be the one. Okay. So I'm going to take one of these. I actually need two. Oop, not that one. You're yes, going to use this that, one. One, that green part. Yes. I'm trying to see which one I want to do. Yeah, uh, I agree this with one. Michelle, that would be great if she found a buyer. Yes, yes, yes. Rochelle's going to do it. No, she's a full-time nurse. I know. I'm just giving her a hard time. Giving you a hard time. Maybe we can get Mr. Warren there in town, Warren Buffett, to put the money up and buy it. Mm -hmm. Get people to use it. 
businesses. Yeah. But we need to do our local private businesses and just purchase from them. Like we have this place called Jonesy's. Um, it's north of us. It's been around for I don't know how many years, but they make the Iowa's largest and best tenderloins. They're good tenderloins. Oh, yeah. They're the biggest, but they're big. They're good. And um, they're going out of business. They've been, I think it's 60 years they've been doing it. Well, and they're got looking. a few health issues, but they can't get any help. Nobody yeah. Wants to work no. Anymore. And there was another one too that was closing, but I don't it remember where that It was an Italian restaurant that I've been to years ago. I think they've been in business since back in the 50s. And well, they're also closing because they can't, can't get any waitresses or wait staff. Yeah. So support your local businesses and keep them going. Okay. So I'm going to cut these. I picked these, this paper because it has the fern uh, on it. So that I'll kind of, and on the back is for the other one I want to use. Where did I put the template? Well, now here it is. Again, I'm going to use the green on this and do two of these. Do one one way. And one the other. So, oh, I know I forgot. October 1st is Saturday. the national, national, world, worldwide card making day. And Kiwi Lane is going to be doing a um, live. And it starts at five o'clock mountain, which if you're in the central like I am, that's six o'clock. So uh, you wanna see them make cards. Um, I don't know how many of us, if they're gonna do a Zoom like they did the last time where a lot of us are on there and doing cards, I'm not sure. Um, I haven't got my email yet, but I know I'm going because I RSVP'd. So look on the um, Kiwi Lane homepage. And you'll see all the information and sign up if you want to come and watch or if you want to participate. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then I'll show you real quick here the templates. For, oh, Dad's got. Okay. Did you look up the price on them? I forgot. Because no, I didn't know what they were called. Uh, it's look under card making. Not Yeah. So anyway, um, th this is the new stuff they got out. It's the a la carte triple plaque. And. I'm sorry I didn't have it done one yet. Um, I just got mine. We actually got home and just real quick, I grabbed it and got back in the coach and I haven't played with it yet. But let me open it up here. Marquis looking up the price of them. This template is so cool. Somebody, I don't remember who, but she did a great job of turning this into a film strip. Okay, but first I wanna tell you how this works. So. You have your outside perimeter, you trace that. And then on the inside, you see this, you take another uh, piece of paper and you trace the inside and that's your second layer. And then you trace this piece and you have three layers. And usually you put your sentiment on here. Um, so it's, it's really cool. And you can use this in scrapbooking too. It would make good, like if you're doing a banner, it would make great banner. This lady, she took it and used all of these little holes and flipped it and did the other way this way and did the holes and she made a film strip and then she put pictures in the middle isn't that a cool idea so that's the new template a la carte triple plaque for slimline cards i should have mentioned that and then they have sentiment cards there's 18 three and a half by eight and a half so this is your slimline and they even give you a little uh, qr code that you can create along with these step-by-step -step instructions. And it's a free course using these sentiment cards. And um, I saw them online, but like I said, I haven't used them. But look at this. They've got all of the little sayings. Uh, they've got these solids. There's some patterns that you can use to make your cards. There's another one, hello, sweet friend. I'm just gonna go through them. This first time I've seen them. Thinking of you and sending a smile. There's a, a blue and a golden yellow. That's a really pretty blue. There's a solid dark blue, a dark blue with diamonds, a polka dots, a green, an orange. 
And there's one that says, you are so loved. Shelf said 699 because I can't find it. I'm still looking. 699? I thought it was $6 shelf. for the temple. I could be wrong. If you're a Kiwi Club member, you get a discount on them, I think, too. And then there's the green, orange, kind of a corally orange. Oh, that pretty light blue with the little arrows. Cast your cares on the Lord. He will sustain you. Psalms 55, 22. <coughs> Excuse me. And there you go. So you can make a whole bunch of cards with just these, your sentiments, and the triple five. Yeah, They're online. If you, if you use my link, it'll take you right to the front page, and that's where it'll be. <coughs> I'm sorry. I didn't look it up before. That was my fault. Okay. We're cutting out here. We're almost done. So not good piece cut. Um, what else we got? Leave it. We need to tell. Oh, was something else. It's going to be chilly tonight. <laughs> He's thinking. He's thinking like, what did we forget? So. When's your next live? I don't know. They haven't put out the October schedule yet. So I have no idea. I think it's supposed to come out on October's today. just about here. I know. Halloween occurs in October. Oh, I know. We've had many times where the first snow occurs in October. Mm. Oh, if you guys do make it to scrap meeting, you'll have to see my Halloween layout. I did. Um, you, you guys are going to, it's, it's so cute. It is so cute. I'm not a Halloween person, <coughs> but this one. I, I like it. I'm sure I can find some Halloween pictures to go with it somewhere. I'm pretty spooky looking. <laughs> uh, I keep rodents. Do you guys realize this is almost October in less than three months? It's Christmas. That's scary. When's your next day in play? Uh, the, October the 27th and then October the 29th, all day. Uh, whatever the store hours are. We do, um, oh, we do um, break up about an hour before the store closes so that you guys can go and shop. Oh, and if you're there for two hours, um, you get 10% off of everything you purchase. So that's a good deal. And uh, it's, it's a great time because I don't know a lot of... Uh, croppers they carry all these wagon fulls of stuff when i went to the uh, crop this last weekend with stacy and some of the other gals that work at the store um i just chuckle when i see all these ladies with the big wagons and then they have to go back out because they got something else they forgot i go in with my rolling case with my templates in and one more bag with my paper and scissors and accessories you know whatever pictures, uh, pictures adhesive you know just the normal stuff like i would use here on a live so i can make my trip once and i'm done and that's one great advantage of the kiwi lane okay so that one's gonna go there we are almost there and we gotta make one more splat for over here I may change that blue one, use it on something else and make it a different color and then do another little blue one. What do you think? That looked nice, but Scrap Mania said, and you got the most done, even though you had less stuff. <laughs> I only got so three layouts. Of crickets and all kinds oh, of yeah. things. And you have crickets too. And you use them, but you know, it's usually. 90% 90, 90 of the time, nine, <laughs> probably 99, I use Kiwi. Now I might use, uh, an embossing folder or a die or something uh, with it. But most of the time it's just my Kiwi lane and me and add a little, like Lee says, a little bling, some enamel dots or Well, Anel says I have an idea for the, he's got any, I think he meant to save for the next one. The What's that? Next project, there we go. He has an idea for okay. it. Okay, I know you need me to make a grill. I haven't forgotten. I need to do that. So what's your ideal, Lionel? Oh, hey, by the way, Lionel, too, I have to tell you, uh, when Lee's mom passed, we found a couple of things I think you'd be interested in. We found um, Uncle Ray's Bible that you had given him. 
And we found Mary's, Aunt Mary's uh, pitcher and glasses that were the metal ones that you always liked. The aluminum ones? Yeah, we found all of them. So I've got them in a box. And I keep saying, I'm just going to take them to you, but maybe I should just ship it to you. <laughs> so, but yeah. So think of the box has your name on. It's sitting in my house, my dining room, ready to bring to you. So... last one no i got two more okay well then you got to tell me how i want if i if i should use burlap or another piece of paper i think we should just use burlap it wouldn't be my layout if i didn't do burlap right you say so <laughs> no, no, oh good. golly it makes such a difference oh and then so i don't know if you guys have a crimper i'm going to use my crimper tonight on a couple of little things here. The texture is um, one thing that. Scrap Mania says about like. two minutes ago about war crimpers. So, yep. Read my Perfect. Minds, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So, like okay. I was looking for my crimper. Okay. So, here's my crimper. I'm going to crimp these little green ones. All right. Ready? I've had this since I started scrapbooking. Isn't that cool? You guys see that? As opposed to a plain one, let me put this up here. Isn't that cool? All that texture. This one was here. Okay, we'll do it again on this one. Yes, you did, Stacy. You called it. <laughs> you should probably go play some slot machines or go buy a lottery ticket. Yeah, go get a lottery ticket, girl. Okay. I'm gonna ink these and then I got one more piece to cut. And we are done with this. Uh, this is what Lee said. He doesn't like these little pieces to have to ink. I think he had more ink on his fingers than he did on the Yeah, that's not my greatest in the world, but <laughs> Gary says, great idea. I have one of those buried somewhere in the uh. paper. It's really nice that she does like acorns. Because you, yeah, you crimp them like, one way and then you put them in another and you get the little squares. Yeah. Or if you're doing a cupcake liner, use your crimper to make your cupcake liner. Well, here's Lionel's idea. There's okay. An old, old picture has him and I on a motorcycle. Perfect. And I thought it was at a museum. This was probably 63. Oh, my goodness. Like that. It was a few years ago. And the one that also has Matt and Zeke on the motorcycle. Oh, I remember Lisa. that. And then another one has got Lee and Lionel. And we got Eagle Scouts with Matt, Matthew, and Alex. Do we have those pictures? I think we do. Okay. And uh, Terry said, oh, great. That was about how you talked about turning yeah. the things with the crimper. Sometimes you take some scrap paper to mess with the crimper and try some different things might really surprise you yeah i thought i'll put my tie through there sometimes your tie <laughs> the texture of it, my <laughs> so wrinkle free oh just say, just wrinkle it wrinkled. off so yeah well i did that on purpose with the crimper <laughs> i don't think it'll work i can do it with a shirt so i don't have to iron it i can just it. see your curiosity <laughs> okay so last night we're talking at the restaurant about things that we did as a child. I have to tell you, Lee. So I knew this, this is still the family time. It's not <laughs> I knew Lee had a stick with a string on it, and he would go out in the woods or go anywhere all by himself. And he would talk to that stick. Okay, I knew the story. Well, one day, his mom gave me a small container, like a little fishing tackle box. And she said, this has got some of his medals in it and some other memorabilia and everything. I open it up and the stick in the string is in that box. <laughs> I can't believe she kept it. And it's, oh, oh, it's amazing. So, oh, tell him the story about where you lived, what you, what you told him last night. About Thunderbolt and the, the the government people. Well, they probably don't want to all hear all that. 
Make sure you speak up. Oh yeah, they gotta know this. Michelle says she got a uh, crimper garage sale for two bucks. Woohoo! Score. Yeah, Lionel says back then him and I were a little James Deanish. <laughs> those men were James Dean. Okay, you gotta right? tell the story. You gotta tell the story. Well, I used to go out the timber all the time. From the time I was really, really small, and uh, where we lived at in Illinois it was close to the Rock River, where there was a lot of Indians, Sauk Indians, Winnebago, and from way back. And I grew up in an old house that was built around 1850. It was an old schoolhouse, had an old coal stove and one room house. But there used to be a lot of Indians that come up out of the timber. I used to hear from all the old timers locally and get warmed up around that old furnace. And so I knew there's a lot of Indians around and Prophetstown, Illinois was actually an Indian settlement. And uh, there's a big hill out in the country, it's out close to where I grew up at, called Thunderbolt Hill. And on that hill, there's always claimed that there's some Indian burial grounds up on there. And so I used to go out there all the time when I was young and look around for where there might be mounds and I had a shovel and I did things. And I found a lot of arrowheads. There used to be an old spring out there. It was almost like a pond, but it had kind of dried up over the years. And there used to be wild buffalo would come there, I heard from the old timers. And so I was always out there looking, always had an interest in this archaeology and history and stuff when I was real small. But that was probably, let's see, that would have been second grade. So May was seven. He had been seven. Eight. I don't remember. If you're second grade, that's eight years old. Well, anyway, I had written a letter to University of Illinois in Champaign Urbana requested a bunch of these old archaeological type maps and uh i had those and somehow they got the name and i was out back playing and some people come to the door and knocked the door my mom answered the door and they said they were from the university of illinois and they want to know if lee hansen was here and she says yeah but what you want with lee says well we need to talk to him I said, well, okay, let me get him. So she comes out the back and says, what'd you been doing? What'd you do? I said, why is that? Well, there's people here in a car from Champaign, Illinois, University of Illinois, want to talk to you. And so I said, oh, okay. So I went out there and they looked at the, who's this little kid? And uh, they said, we understand you might know where there's some burial grounds and some caverns. And of course I told them I didn't know where they were. Even if I did, I wouldn't have told them because I found those. It wasn't theirs. <laughs> it wasn't yours but I, either. I did show them some of my arrowheads <laughs> and things. I told them I never did find these burial grounds. But I was always digging and looking around. I think Lionel remembers we used to go up in there and look around for all kinds of things out there. But um, How did they know to, to come? Did you write to them, you said? Yeah, I wrote to them. They had our address. Well, what, did you, why, what were you thinking you were going to do if you I didn't tell I just wanted maps then. I told them I thought uh... I'd find some. Indian burial grounds, but I like to know a little bit more about the history there, the Mississippian <laughs> and the, the different flood plains and a little bit of history. I guess I just asked a lot of questions and made them think that <laughs> maybe we better talk to them guys. Reminds so, me of young Sheldon, if you've ever seen that show. Yeah, that's Lee. Okay, we got some, we got some burlap. And I'm doing this over this little uh cunning. See, while well, I tell the story, we lost about 15 people they don't want to hear. No, this. did we really? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, we're almost done, guys. Of course, the number bounced around, so I don't know if it's really real. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, you guys got any more questions about Kiwi Lane or paper? Those look like dewworms. No, they're, oh, this is from Tiny Seaside is what it is. They could be worms. No. Well, you know, that's probably not a bad idea to if you got a fishing page, turn this into worms on a hook. You're you're okay. Now I'm gonna do it. I saw a cartoon the other day and it was a picture of uh Noah sitting on the ark, and yeah. there was two worms crawling on the deck. Look at that. Now we know why Noah brought three of us, and he's got a <laughs> fishing pole and a line over the side of the boat. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we'll ink this up, get these stuck down, put a few gems, and we got it. Okay, 
ink, 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 ink. Next time we might have to go a little bit higher with the phone because we aren't quite getting the whole thing. We're not getting the whole thing. We're close. Go it's around good, and... But I wouldn't mess with it too much because it's really nice. We'll you just pull it up. Bed. Okay. Well, I can pull it up. I think we'll be okay. Okay. If you guys need us to move it, let us know. We can do that. We actually bought some small microphones. Lapel. Yeah, lapel mics that are wireless. We didn't. We were going to try them. I had them out. We had never tried them yet. And I thought, yeah, I got to be a little bit chicken of tried them out tonight. It might not work, but we'll get them hooked up. I know I've way. listened back a few times and our voice, or at least mine, doesn't always come through. And I think I talk plenty loud, but I'm far so, enough away from the phone that it yeah. might not come through. So, but. Okay, so I've got a request to do a video on the mother goose that I did. I've got a request for, what was the other one? But if you guys got any requests on what you want to see done, just let me know. And I'll gladly, we'll start do, okay, we gotta map this real quick. I forgot about that. Let's get it matted. Christine wants to know, said that dauber looks smaller than the others, is it? Yes, um, I got it at the scrapbook store. They come two in a pack. They remove just like the Tim Holtz one, but they're not Tim Holtz. These are great for getting in the tiny little crevices. And if you're doing cards, the tiny little pieces or whatever, perfect for this. So um, you can get them at our store. They're, it's 319-377-9999. Um, uh, let's see. Temple. And just ask ask him for the tiny, the tiny uh, daubers. daubers. Yep. Okay. So Lisa said, "I'd like to see your Halloween layout you did." Okay, it's it's on Lisa, my website. It's on my website. You can see it, or if you go to the store, you can see it. Um. Okay, this is a four and a half by six and a half photo, Matt. Okay. And then if I want to go another half, then I have to go a five by seven, don't I? I wonder if that's going to be too big. Well, let's get it and see. All right, we need a photo mat, photo set. We need the five by seven. There we go. Let's just double check. So there's that one. Yep, that's what it is. Okay, so I need to do a five by seven. I'm going to go here. And we'll mat these on the middle one. Stick down. I think we'll use some pop dots. Always go to the back of your scissors, go forward. Turn your paper if you go around a corner, not your scissors. A little hang up there. There we go. This has almost um, a linen weathered look. I guess that's the best I could say. It's uh, this little, it's kind of brownish, greenish, black. It's it, it coordinates with it just perfectly. And this is part of the solids. They give you six pages. All right, let's see, do I wanna do blue on brown? Yep, and that's what I wanna do. All right, straighten this up. Yep, I'm gonna ink them and then we're done. And get them all stuck. All right. Boy, that ink makes a difference. So I'm going to do a couple 49 in market and a couple minte here this tomorrow. And I will post those too. So if you haven't friended me, you can friend me at Linda Hansen or Linda Lou's creative Kiwi Lane Creative Partner. 247-200. And you can see my last, or if you're in the community, just um, look me up in the community on the kiwilane.com page. 
and I have a lot of things there and uh, past videos. Um, the one that I did the Santa Claus with is there. Oh, somebody wanted me to do the graphic 45. So I'm going to be doing a uh, layout of the graphic What is your 45. website? I had a question from Carol. It, uh, so it's Linda Hansen, or look me up in the Kiwi Lane community on kiwilane.com. Uh, the other one is Linda Lou's Kiwi Lane Creative Partner, I think is what it's called, 247200. If you see and my, you can include that in your yeah, post. I will do that. I will surely do that. All right, get this one on. Terry said P13 has great papers too. They're a lot like them too. You know, I have not seen P13 for a long time. Um, it is very nice. It really is. I, I've got a little bit of it at home. Darlene says another awesome page. Thank you. Oh, you're, you're welcome. Okay, we're going to get this down. I'm wondering. You know what we're going to do? We're going to crimp this corner or um, round it. I could have crimped it too. That's a good idea to crimp your back, your layout. It's just a little different. So my little jelly bean stands out. She is so sweet. That's why we call her the jelly bean. But you know what? She doesn't like jelly beans. Go figure. <laughs> the black licorice ones aren't always so sweet. Oh, those are my favorite. They're not sweet tasting. Mm. Depends. I think they are. Okay. So this, I'm going to pop up. I've got some bigger ones I'm going to use. All right. Put this down. We will be done by nine. We got six minutes. Got to hurry. Okay. I'm going to put that on the edge. Right there. Okay, this strip is going to go underneath. I'm going to do it on this. I don't want to get it. We want everything because this is a little tricky. No, it's this. I could use my glue, but I think I'm going to use this for right now. Okay, and this is going to go right under here. That just gives it a little something, something. Rochelle says black jelly beans are her favorite and candy corn. Yay! I got a partner in crime. Woohoo! Okay, I'm using my Barely, Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. I'm using the tiny tip. It just, it glides on so well. Okay, and I'm going to put it there. And then I'm going to pop this one with some tiny. And I hear our neighbors next door. And put this one on. This is the hardest part, these little tab things. <laughs> there it is. It's awful quietly. Are you going to sleep on me over there? Nope. <laughs> all right don't forget october 1st guys what's october 1st the card oh, making gosh. card making day and that one i'm just gonna glue a little bit of it Petra says i only eat black jelly beans but i can't live without the candy corn okay we're gonna do this one Put it down. I'm probably more of I could eat the candy corn. But okay. I don't care well, a lot of well, speaking of candy corn, do you guys mix it with um, peanuts, peanuts um, dry roasted peanuts? Oh my gosh, that's one of our staples. Okay, so this one is going to go here. And MMs. Yeah. Now, if you got black chili beans, you throw them out and eat the MMs. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna just put a couple globs of glue on the 
anywhere here because I'm going to put this like this and this up over here. And You're actually off screen. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me pull it over. Okay. Might put a little more there. There we go. Now we'll get these down. I'm going to pop that. What are you laughing at? Oh, Rochelle says my favorite in Datris says I buy black jelly beans by the way. <laughs> Partners in crime. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Woohoo. I like black beans. Okay, we're going to put this here. Just don't care for black jelly beans. Hmm. Okay, and this one. Use my mat again. And I will stay up and I will do my doodles. So you guys can see that tomorrow when I post. Okay, this one. I'm gonna do it like this. Okay. Then we got these. I'm gonna pop this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Something in the air tonight. Or the peanuts, right? Or the peanuts. <laughs> yeah. Peanuts. peanuts make me cough sometimes. Oh, I don't know what. They sound so good, but they just. It's just a dry. Oh, the dry. dry. Okay. And then I also got, I'll show you real quick. I got the simple story. Decorative brads from Simple Vintage Lakeside. And I'll use some of those to bling it. I won't make you guys stay up. And then I got some of the uh, enamel dots. I had to think what it was called. There. It's stuck to my finger. I'm gonna stick that up there. I split it a little bit because I want to make it a little bit shorter. There we go. And then this one will go right on top. Oop. Got a piece of fuzz on it. Okay, there we go. Right over top. I might want to move that up just a tad. There we go. Okay. Then I'm going to put some bling on it and do some doodle work. Well, I don't like so. Oh, I love Uzo. I've only drank it once in my life, but it's good. It's like black licorice. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we've got. And I will finish it up offline. I've got some little gems I'm going to put on there. I'll post it tomorrow. And that's it. We're done. So there's our lakeside. You guys have a great night. Rochelle says she likes when your teeth turn black. <laughs> love it. And Darlene uh, Timmons says she loves your doodles. Oh, my favorite thing to do. All right, yeah, guys. This looks great. Well, once we get the doodle work on, it'll look totally different and better. <laughs> so I always think doodles make it better. Well, guys, we're going to sign off because it is 9.01. And uh, don't forget Looks the great. world card looking world card making day on the October 1st. Don't forget to check out the new sentiment cards for slimline cards and the triple plaque template that comes with it. Don't forget to check those out. Um, again, I will post my link in the comments. So um, well, let me post a question on Chris. Yes, what's up? 
Where will it be post? Uh, right here on the Kiwi Lane Designs page. It will be on my two pages, Linda Hansen, friend me if you want, and it will be in the community. So uh, four places. That work? Love you too, Lionel, you and Vanessa. Yeah. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Seriously, Look at those hearts. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. awesome. All right. Well, you guys have a great weekend. If you're in Florida, please, please, please be safe. If you're in the Carolinas, keep the weather nice for me. I'm coming that way. All right. You guys have a great Good one. Week. Keep happy scrapping. Good yep. night. Yep. Good night, Molly, Sharon, Ruby.